will be a touchback. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And this will go for five up to the 33. All right, Brad, I know where they're early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And Akers, he is not going to get there. They mark him short of the first. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Charles first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball. But you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Here's Stafford. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Demario Davis there on the stop. Coming up on second and seven. They'll run here with Akers. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. Now a run with Akers. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Hey. 
Now Stafford. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. On the ground, it's Akers. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way. We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run this with Akers. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On second and nine, Stafford. No, oh, bottled up, fumble. It's out, it's loose. But it looked like a Rams player was able to get his hands on it, yes. So they will hold on to the football indeed. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers from 19 yards away. And the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. Yeah, yeah, we dominate. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior, too, because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second, and finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chopping at the bit just to get the football. And he will get into the end zone again, and he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down, Ingram again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Eight-nothing our score with two minutes left in the second quarter. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Jameis now on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. 
Now Winston. They'll get this out to Kamara. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Brandon, you know this is going to be discussed because this is the fear of all the backs when they run this type of a route. They've got to find the football, and sometimes they don't see the defender. And in this case, he took a pretty good shot for his efforts, but give him credit. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Von Miller in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now Winston on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and that will force a turnover on downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Akers. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They'll run on first down. Akers. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They'll run here with Akers. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers as the first half is winding down. And the Rams will extend their lead here just before halftime. So the call's made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. It's a run with Akers. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Callaway, the return man. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. problems right out of the gate we're gonna get a delay so that'll back him up five
play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. And that'll set him back five. Excessive penalties have them looking now at a first and 20. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. first and they trail here as we begin quarter number three and no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. A good gain on first has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Ingram again and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39 second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down but sometimes you just don't want to break tendency stay with what you are stay with who you know and go get the first down that's exactly what they did so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10 the toss right. This is Ingram. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Working out of the gun, Winston. That's caught by Marquez Callaway. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jameis to throw it. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. The former Charger All-Pro, Eric Weddle, on the stop. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Again, they'll run with Ingram. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Winston to give. It's Camara. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. A throw over the middle, taken in by Troutman. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. On second down, Ingram. And now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Ingram, and they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Second down and goal, Winston. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. touchdown yet you better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal Winston drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield the field goal doesn't help they're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal desperation time Winston on fourth down that is caught Traquan Smith touchdown Saints Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Saints are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So this back now to a 10-point spread, and you have to imagine they'll line up and go for two. Oh, no question about it. If they can get this to an eight-point game, they can make things awfully interesting here in these last few minutes. And he will get into the end zone to shave two more points off the deficit. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football, high percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Stafford going to give this to Akers, and he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 91 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. On first down, Akers. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. On the handoff, it's Akers. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. So it was the defense that jumped and that'll move them five yards closer. I wonder how they did it. Why don't they twitched a little bit up front, you know, a little subtle head movement that the officials didn't detect, but they got it done. Now they're five yards closer for their field goal attempt. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. 